That's incredible! SpaceX flawlessly executed the booster catch using the chopstick arm during Starship Flight 7. A remarkable achievement. However, the second stage of Starship didn't share the same success and was ultimately destroyed in space. What went wrong? How did Elon Musk respond and explain the situation? Let's dive into the details in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Today, January 16th, SpaceX conducted the seventh launch of its Starship system, propelling the 403.5 foot tall, or 123 meter, reusable vehicle from the Starbase site in South Texas at 5.37 p.m. Eastern. One of the most ambitious objectives of this test flight was to return the massive first stage booster, known as Super Heavy, to the Starbase launch tower using the chopstick arms. SpaceX had previously accomplished this remarkable feat during Starship Flight 5 in October, and they achieved it once again today. The live broadcast of the booster's return was nothing short of mesmerizing. Despite one engine failing to rely for the boost back phase, the landing sequence was executed flawlessly. This time, there were no visible anomalies, such as fires in vulnerable areas, which had been observed during the previous catch. Just seven minutes after liftoff, the 33-engine Super Heavy booster smoothly settled into the tower's arms. Showcasing SpaceX's innovative recovery strategy aimed at reusability for both the booster and the 171-foot-tall, or 52-meter, upper stage of Starship, aptly named SHIP. The achievement thrilled spectators worldwide, with Musk sharing an update on X alongside a video capturing the triumphant booster catch. However, not everything unfolded as planned. Approximately eight and a half minutes into the flight, SpaceX lost communication with the Starship upper stage due to what appeared to be a significant anomaly. All six of the ship's Raptor engines fired up during the stage's ascent burn, explained Dan Hoot, part of SpaceX's communications team during the company's live webcast. But as we were getting to the end of that ascent burn, we saw engines dropping out on telemetry, and we have since lost contact with ship. SpaceX confirmed that the spacecraft, which was equipped with numerous upgrades being tested for the first time, did not survive the mission. At this point, we are assuming the ship has been lost, Hoot said. But there's a lot to learn, as all these systems interacted for the first time. Kate Tice, a SpaceX engineer, added, We can confirm that we did lose the ship. SpaceX emphasized the importance of data analysis in determining the root cause of the issue. It's going to take some time, Hoot noted. In the next hours and days, we'll figure out exactly what happened, come back, fly the next one, and get farther. He reminded viewers, this is a test of an experimental vehicle. Meanwhile, several videos posted on X claimed to show debris from Starship 33 falling over the Turks and Caicos Islands consistent with the spacecraft's flight path. These dramatic visuals serve as a stark reminder of the risks involved in experimental flights, but fortunately there were no reports of harm. Following the live stream, SpaceX released an official statement acknowledging the incident. Starship experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly during its ascent burn. Teams will continue to review data from today's flight test to better understand the root cause. With a test like this, success comes from what we learn, and today's flight will help us improve Starship's reliability. Elon Musk, known for his resilient optimism, addressed the event in his own unique way. He retweeted a video showing Starship 33 breaking apart in a shower of light captioned with characteristic humor. Success is uncertain, but entertainment is guaranteed. In a follow-up, Musk revealed that improved versions of the ship and booster were already waiting for launch, demonstrating SpaceX's unwavering commitment to progress. This mindset is a cornerstone of SpaceX's philosophy, confront setbacks directly, learn from them, and move forward with even greater determination. It's a principle that transcends aerospace, offering inspiration for any pursuit in life. Success and failure are part of the journey, and it's through challenges that groundbreaking advancements are made. While the loss of Ship 33 may be disappointing for space enthusiasts, it's far from the end of the story. Each test flight, regardless of outcome, brings invaluable insights that push the boundaries of innovation. Looking ahead, Starship Flight 8 is already on the horizon. With ongoing advancements and lessons learned from today's flight, the next launch promises to bring SpaceX closer to achieving its ambitious goals. So let's remain optimistic and excited for what's to come. The future of space exploration is being written one daring step at a time, and SpaceX's journey is far from over. The path to unprecedented achievements continues, with more milestones waiting just around the corner. Of course, the primary concern following SpaceX's latest Starship test flight revolves around identifying the cause of the mishap. While SpaceX has not released an official statement, observations from the flight provide some clues. 
Ship 33 appeared to perform well for the first 7 minutes and 40 seconds after liftoff, save for a sea-level Raptor engine shutting down. Although some speculate that this engine shutdown may have caused thrust imbalances leading to a loss of control, it's unlikely to be the sole cause. A more critical issue raised by the online community is the fire observed near the aft flap hinge during flight. This fire could have potentially interfered with the flight termination system, which is responsible for autonomously destroying the spacecraft in emergencies. Another plausible scenario involves a loss of communication with the vehicle. This aligns with events during Starship's second flight, where a communications failure led to the spacecraft's loss of control. The FTS is designed to activate automatically under such conditions to ensure safety. While the explosion itself is unlikely to have a significant impact on SpaceX's resource allocation due to its rapid development capabilities, regulatory challenges may pose a more substantial hurdle. The Federal Aviation Administration has expressed concern about the anomaly. In a statement, the FAA noted, The FAA is aware an anomaly occurred during the SpaceX Starship Flight 7 mission that launched from Boca Chica, Texas on January 16th. The FAA is assessing the operation and will issue an updated statement. To proceed with Flight 8 and beyond, SpaceX must swiftly address the FAA's investigation. Given the company's reputation for operational efficiency, resolving these issues seems feasible, but it remains a critical step. Let's keep our enthusiasm alive and show our support. By commenting, Go SpaceX! Starship's ambitious development program highlights the extensive work that lies ahead. This test flight is just the beginning of what SpaceX plans to achieve this year. The company aims to dramatically increase its launch cadence, moving from 5 launches annually to as many as 25 as they work toward their ultimate goal, landing NASA astronauts on the moon by 2027. Currently, Starship has yet to carry humans on a test flight. Analysts caution that the 2027 timeline is ambitious. Phil Smith, a space industry analyst at Bryce Tech, predicts that uncrewed Starship landings on the moon might be possible by then, but a crewed mission could take an additional two years. Stephen Berg, an assistant professor at Rutgers University specializing in in-space propulsion, shares a similar sentiment, stating, If I was a betting person, I'd say no, but I hope they prove me wrong. Since its debut flight in April of 2023, SpaceX has conducted six Starship flight tests, including two in 2024. Currently authorized for five launches annually from South Texas, SpaceX is seeking federal approval to increase this to 25. Upcoming flights will focus on key milestones, such as demonstrating in-space refueling and achieving a dry land landing for the Starship spacecraft. The recent test flight marked the first use of a previously flown Raptor engine, underscoring SpaceX's commitment to reusability. The upgraded Starship spacecraft for this mission featured enhanced heat shields, avionics, and propulsion systems, as well as the capability to deploy payloads. This flight included a test of Starship's ability to eject satellites deploying 10 mock Starlink units. These satellites represent one of Starship's first revenue-generating applications, crucial for the program's financial sustainability. Getting Starship to a revenue-generating status, I would imagine, is incredibly important, Berg emphasized. Despite its groundbreaking work, SpaceX's ambitious launch schedule has drawn criticism from local residents and environmental groups. Concerns range from noise pollution and explosions to the potential environmental impact on South Texas's fragile ecosystem, which is vital for shorebirds and other wildlife. The FAA, responsible for commercial launch licensing, has conducted a preliminary review and determined that increasing SpaceX's launch cadence to 25 annual flights would not result in significant environmental changes. The public comment period on this proposal ends Friday, after which the FAA must address all comments before finalizing its decision. George Neald, former FAA Associate Administrator for Commercial Space Transportation, expressed confidence that the FAA will approve SpaceX's request potentially as soon as April. I am confident that the hardworking public servants at the Office of Commercial Space Transportation are doing their very best to rapidly complete the work required that will enable SpaceX to fly as often as they would like to, while still ensuring public safety and protecting the environment, Neild stated. In the meantime, the FAA is conducting a mishap investigation into what went wrong during the latest flight. Starship will not fly again until these issues are thoroughly addressed. As SpaceX works to resolve regulatory and technical challenges, the stakes remain high. Achieving their ambitious goals will require continued innovation, rigorous testing, and collaboration with regulators. With SpaceX's track record of overcoming obstacles, there's every reason to remain optimistic about the future of Starship and the broader space exploration landscape. This latest test flight underscores the immense potential and challenges of pushing the boundaries of space technology. 
Whether through groundbreaking launches or overcoming setbacks, SpaceX is shaping the future of space travel, one test at a time. And that concludes today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you next time.